Welcome back to Africa 54. Nigeria's Sarah Jibril is a force to be reckoned with, not just in her homeland, but this week in Washington, D.C. The special advisor to Nigeria's president on ethics and values took her message to the Capitol Hill. Uh, that message, Nigeria is cleaning up its act when it comes to ethics in business. Good afternoon. Nigeria is teachable. That Nigeria is changeable. Nigeria is developable, and Nigeria is transformable. Now, to talk more about her tasks, Dr. Sara Jibril joins us now in the studio. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Now, you said very strongly that Nigeria is teachable, Nigeria, Nigeria is changeable. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the Nigerians I talk about are very cynical about that kind of line. Uh, why do you have confidence that you can change Nigeria's image? Certainly, the fact that they can even still breathe and are even thinking of Nigeria and even can criticize Nigeria is because they are in search mm -hmm. for things that are better in Nigeria. Yeah. And therefore, if we give them, if they're ignorant or don't have information about why they are feeling so cynical or, or, or so, we, we're giving them information that will let them know that it is doable to get information to the people. We'll let them know what they can do to remove the reasons why they are cynical. And also, the information is not just to individuals. We're talking to everyone. We see them, everybody as stakeholders. Uh, Nigerians see the problem with their country as the leadership. They see uh, corruption in the highest level of government over the years, uh, powerful rich men who really don't care about any values, but more concerned about uh, how to get ahead. How do you touch those ones? How do you change them? One, we think, again, it's the issue of giving information. Who are you giving? Everybody. Mm -hmm. We're doing it formally and informally. Yeah. We're also reaching the communities where these people, everyone comes from. And we're now focusing on the family or cradle or the background. Mm -hmm. In the sense that we want to enlighten everyone that, listen, if you really want to get away from the situation of, neg or, of being neglected, the injustice, the uh, lack of access to economic activities, then know that other countries that are also organized, it is because they capitalize very much on the foundations of character building character development, effective but, but parenting that's a message of the that, uh, that a message that can go down well uh, with those who are poor, but to the most powerful men, yeah, because even they, those they don't who really are, care. No, they, they, are, they are being made to care because they too have families. They too have their children that whom they want to get better and better. And we are simply saying that you cannot just turn your back to feel you are the only ones existing. If you have been privileged, you are even paid by the taxes of these people. You have the responsibility to feel about them. That's why we are being paid yeah. to think of the needs of these people. That are, that are, and even the need to see the examples of effective leadership. Yeah. And They're, therefore, yeah. it is the knowledge and the skill of, of applying the issue of ethics, which we call good, uh, good character. Yeah. Yes. And in Islam, we call it Sharia. In Christianity, we call it righteousness. So there is no any big or small or, or, uh, or main person that will what, feel they have, don't have instructions of yeah, behaving well. Yeah, some, some say that one of the biggest problems is that there's a culture of uh, uh, worshipping uh, opulence and, uh, you know, materialism. And so those who don't have are aspiring to get, those who have are getting even more. What counts is what you have, how much money you have, and you will be followed around, you'll be worshipped. How do you change that? Well, we just simply establish that it is wrong philosophy, wrong attitude to life, that we are talking of the quality, quantity of things to possess, mm -hmm. and then rather to talk of the quality of the being of the person. And this message must go to the brains, the senses, and the thinking of, of, of the politicians, the political leaders. Because, it is, because if they are seen to be so opulent because they are well paid, etc., then it is them to, not to, to themselves to know. Yeah. Listen, you know what? We'll need it, a long, long time to talk about this because people think you have such a 
difficult task ahead of you. Thank you very much. It is possible. Dr. Jibril. It, all this are possible. Thanks. We'll, we'll have you maybe some other time. Thanks a right. lot. Thank uh, <laughs> Sarah Jibril is a special advisor to the president of Nigeria on ethics and values.